So alrighty. So for the past couple of days, I've been working on installing carpet in the screen and porch. And today I succeeded. It the carpet uh, is installed and it is dry. The glue is totally curing right now. And I'm also leveling it out by getting rid of any air bubbles if uh, one uh, pops up. So the first thing I had to do uh, to do this was to clean the floor. Uh, pretty much clean the, uh, uh, get all the, the physical debris out from there. And to do that, I used the 18 volt leaf blower. So the next thing I had to do is grab the Ryobi power washer, power wash the windows, the walls, the ceiling, the edging of the floor, and then this is that. Next thing I had to do is I whipped out the Ryobi One Plus shop vac and I tested out the how well it picks up water. And it actually does a fantastic job, so this is that. So we're going to uh, get this disassembled, empty out the contents, and take the filter out. We're going to see how well this does when it comes to becoming a, a wet vac. So that's one thing I haven't tested out yet, which that right there is the stopper so I guess that that floats up and then that prevents the uh, the water from going into the motor so we're gonna test that out my, my filter is completely filthy as well so I'm gonna clean that after it's ready and it is that simple it is that simple all right the filter is out there in the on the driveway so let's put this back I love this vacuum this vacuum rocks we are gonna use the 9 amp hour battery that in. all right so let's go It does like about, I'd say probably two and a half. I forgot how many gallons this is. It probably does like four gallons. So next, let's get this back in order. Remember, if you use this as a wet vac, take that filter out. And there we go. Put this back in its spot.
just like that. So then I, uh, so then I had to let I let the air cannon dry that floor and get all the moisture from the concrete to totally disappear. I pretty much just let it dry overnight, overnight, and I let the uh, Ryobi air cannon run that entire time, and it did a fantastic job. It's uh, it's still running. Uh, I, there are many nights where I let that air cannon run all night, and I'm super excited about this. This is sad, but I'm super excited about this. I finally get to use the Ryobi One Plus brushless stick vacuum in the house. Now, the only time when it comes to my own personal stick vacuum and not the one from work, I only used it on the within a, a little less than a year. I used it on a boat. I have not vacuumed it any carpet inside the house because we have none. But now we do. So now I get to do videos uh, adding the stick vacuum. On how well it performs. So, uh, because I actually have carpet to film now. Uh, first time using this on an actual carpet for the house. See if I can get any bubbles out. And we are good. Ah, oh, that looks so much better. We're, for this part, we're going to get uh, water resistant laminate flooring for that and have a threshold right here. And we're going to uh, give this a shell of laminate flooring as well so it doesn't look like this. Just to give you guys an example, this isn't the flooring we're using, but I'm going to make it look to where it looks like that. Alright, so as you can see in there, it's, it's going to look so much better than it just being a con concrete floor with dirty walls. What I just did in, the, in my Tech Life channel, I just uh, unboxed the Tech Life hammer drill. I thought I was going to get a regular drill, but they gave me a hammer drill, which is awesome. So now I get to do a comparison between the two. And we're, we can, uh, in a future video coming very soon, we're going to see what the difference is when it comes to the Tack Life hammer drill versus Ryobi hammer drill. We are going to do two tests. One against the brushed hammer drill and one against the brushless hammer drill. So we're going to see what the difference is and, and compare. But I can tell you this right now, when it comes to noise, this one is a lot louder. A lot louder. So I can't wait for the, to do this video. Uh, I put the, my Tech Life channel uh, in the description below, so please give me a subscribe if you would like to and support that channel. But uh, this thing is cool though. This thing is cool. I like the way that it looks. And so it's, it's, actually, it's actually not a bad drill at all. I did demonstrate this in the video of the unboxing. And uh, of course the battery. In uh, battery comparison, part of the size is extremely different. So 20 volt, 18 volt, we're going to test that out too. So, but this thing is cool though. This thing is cool. If the carpet's easy to install, all you got to do is cut the carpet to shape. Spread the glue around very thin. Make sure it gets a good uh, thin coat. Uh, put it on and then just keep doing what, what you saw me do at the last. Just uh, make sure the bubbles uh, vanish. Thank you guys again for subscribing to the channel. Uh, I do plan on, like I said, I have unboxing videos to do, testing videos. I, a ton of stuff is coming. I'm so excited. I got a haircut today. I got to go to work soon. Uh, but yeah, so I'm just doing this video. I wanted to get that for my wife done. So so now she's happy I got to use a stick vacuum Thank God I get to now implement the stick vacuum in my videos because I have carpet to actually vacuum So it's good. So it's good. I am Excited about the videos that are coming up, especially like this. It's actually a good drill. It really is I think that's pretty much it. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time